Graham Napier, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, very much appreciated. So, very good start to the season. 48 ball, 100 against Cambridge. H how did that come about? Oh, the, um, sort of in the afternoon session, it was pretty, pretty quiet. We'd been dominating most of the afternoon. And uh, uh, it was one of those days where you start hitting the ball well from ball one. And uh, just carried on going for the, for the next sort of 48 balls or 47 balls. You've been in fantastic form, actually, for the last three or four years when you've been fit. But sadly, there have been quite a few injuries. How are you doing right now? Well, that's always the key with me. If I'm fit, my form's been good. So at the moment, I'm 100% fit, pain-free, which is very rare and uh, raring to go for the start of summer. Now, I think it was the 2009 World 2020 you called into the squad, wasn't it? Yeah, 2009 in England. Uh, uh, I became a, a professional drinks carrier for that tournament. <laughs> Um, and never, never got quite to play a game for England, but uh, I got close, as close as you can get. Do you still have the kit? Uh, I've still got it. I, it's all, all in its packet still. <laughs> now, is it still possible you might need to take it out, isn't it? I mean, there is another World 2020 in uh, September. Is that in the back of your mind as a possibility? Oh, not really. I think the likelihood of a 32-year-old making a debut in a, in, uh, in a World Cup of T20, I think they're, they're pushing the youngsters these days. But uh, I wouldn't ever write it off. Um, it's always everyone's dream to, to put on the England shirt and play a game, so uh, it's still there as one of my aspirations to achieve as a, as a cricketer. Um, but uh, it's not, not, not there in the forefront. The, the main thing for me is be fit, um, have a good summer and uh, work hard on the benefit year. You have had some remarkable innings of late. Uh, uh, tell us a bit about the one against Surrey last year, where I, I think you set a record for the most sixes. Yeah, I equaled the uh, world record in first class cricket. I still hold it on my own in, in T20. Um, but uh, against Surrey last year in, in May, it was my first game back after about a year out for injury um, and uh, managed to sort of see off an evening session of tricky bowling from the likes of Tremlett um, and in the afternoon, oh, sorry, the following morning, um, the sun was out, the, the pitch was a lot drier and uh, I was able to unleash uh, the willow a bit. And as you say, you're 32 now and Essex have rewarded you for lots of years of uh, sterling service with a, with a benefit season. Have you got any particular events planned for that? I think the nearest event coming up for me is the, um, uh, we've got a bowl out. Uh, if you can see behind me, we've got a, a nice net set up. Um, we're taking that down to Broadgate in the city, at, uh, Liverpool Street, and we're having a bowl out. Come down, have a, have a go at trying to get me out and I'll try and slog you out the park. <laughs> um, and then uh, from there, uh, 31st of May, um, we've got a, a big event up at the HAC. Uh, again in London, um, we're playing against the Bunburys, Dave English's uh, team, the Mad Hatter Dave English. Um, he's bringing his side down to play against an Essex sort of past and present eleven. Presumably there's a website people can visit? Yes, yes, uh, visit uh, www.grahamnapier.com uh, and we've got all of our events up on the, on the website there. Now you've got a really good uh, bowling attack here at Essex this year, quite an exciting attack, a lot of pace, a lot of youth, some experience. Who's the quickest? Well, I've got a speed gun that goes with the net, so if you come down to Broadgate, you can measure the speed of how, how fast you bowl. But I think um, Timer Mills might be just pipping me at the moment. Uh, a little bit of youth, but uh, where you've got youth, you've got inexperience, and that's where I make up. I was wondering whether your and Timer's slower ball might be about the same pace as Charles Willoughby's quicker ball. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I think, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It's a tough one between Charles and Dave Masters uh, yeah. on, on who's the, the quickest between those two. Um, but uh, it's an exciting summer ahead for us as a side. We've got a, a good mix of old and, and new in terms of experience and youth. Um, and so it'll be an interesting summer for the bowlers. Um, we've been consistent uh, over the last few years and the signing of uh, Alvira Peterson to strengthen our batting order. Um, I think we've got a good, good shape up for the summer. And we're just going to do some quick fire questions, if that's all right. You can answer them however you like, but I'm going to keep going. So, fastest bowler you've faced? Uh, oh, fastest bowler. Show back to Best batsman you bowl against in the county championship? Mike Hussey. Best fielder in England? Oh, don't know that one. Probably me. <laughs> okay. No one else has said that. I'll, I'll tell you that. Warner Murley. Um, oh, tough one. Um, Murley because I oh, know I think Warn. Warn. Tendulkar or Lara? Tendulkar. Highlight of your career so far? Um, obviously the record innings that I've had, but uh, I think winning a, a Friends Problem final. Um, in 2008, uh, Lord's final, you can't beat it. You played with Tendulkar at Mumbai Indians. Do you have his mobile number? I don't know. I don't, don't think he even has a mobile number. Does he not? <laughs> He's so famous. Um, the lowest moment of your career so far? Um, any injury. It's time out of the game. Probably the worst, worst point of anyone's individual career. Uh, football team supported? Um, well, it's a combination of a lot of teams. Uh, being a former tractor boy, Ipswich, 
um, but also the odd uh, free ticket to Arsenal helps from time to time. Uh, and what would you have done if you hadn't been a cricketer? Um, interesting one. Well, I think um, early on career I wouldn't have had a clue what I'd done, but uh, I'd like to sort of go into the photography route as a dream career, um, but uh, could also end up in the city working as a banker.